If you are doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, then you're not doing the e-myth. You're not thinking about the e-myth. You're not thinking about the true perspective of an entrepreneur, as Ray Kroc was. 52 years old, the guy was, selling, peddling, molded milk machines. He was a peddler at 52 years old. And he walked into McDonald's to sell him a multi-mixer molded milk machine. And he walked out of McDonald's with the franchise rights to McDonald's. He was absolutely astonished by what he saw. How come you guys haven't franchises? How come you guys haven't franchises? He said to the McDonald brothers. And they said, well, we already tried, but it doesn't work. He said, shit, I'll do it. And they gave him the franchise rights to McDonald's. 50-year-old, 52-year-old peddler of molded milk machines went back to Des Plaines, Illinois, borrowed the money from anybody and everybody he could to start his first store, what he called his franchise prototype. Never made a hamburger, never made a French fry, never made a milk, milkshake. Never did it, never did it, never did it. Went to work on it like 30,000 feet above. We talk about that as though it's out of the world. It is out of the world. You got to get out of the world if you're going to transform the world. You got to transcend your company if you're going to transform your company to be able to transform the lives of every single person it's intended to transform. So Ray Kroc went to work on McDonald's, not in it. Never made a hamburger. Never. I said that, didn't I? It's very, very, very important that you get this. You understand how many other people started hamburger stands at the same time that Ray Kroc did, and they're still making hamburgers if they're still alive? Charlie and Jim and Judy and Jerry, you understand they're still there doing it, doing it, doing it, getting greasy, getting greasy, getting greasy, getting greasy, and they're not going anywhere, and their company's not going anywhere, and their people aren't going anywhere. There's no growth. There's no activity. There's no opportunity. Do you understand today, right now, today, last year, over 600 McDonald's hamburger stands were opened in China? Are you shitting me? Do you know how old that is? And yet it's still growing, 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 growing. How is that possible? Because it was built to grow. Now you could say, yeah, but look what they're selling. I say it's beside the point. Muhammad Yunus's grand main bank is growing. It's growing, 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 growing because it's a turnkey system. An absolutely infallible turnkey system. You can plug it in here, plug it in here, plug it in here, plug it in here. Do you understand the genius, the brilliance, the absolute astonishing resilience of the man called Muhammad Yunus, the man called Ray Kroc, in order to see from 30,000 feet the absolutely perfected perfection of that system that will enable him in the hands of kids at minimum wage to produce the most successful small business in the world. Let me show you how it works. Let me show you how it works. It works so you don't have to. What in the hell does that have to do with technology? You understand? Most people confuse when they read the e-myth. They confuse it. They become trapped in the conversation about a system. They think it's about the system and it's not about the system. It's about inventing a system. And inventing a system includes all of the pieces and parts of your company. This one co, one co, please write that down. One co, one co includes all of the key components of the company you're about to invent that becomes one co, the only thing. It is a brand. It has a life of its own. It speaks it, it says it, 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 It does it, it completes it, it performs it, it produces it, this extraordinary, exquisite operating system. Ray Kroc could see the system. Muhammad Yunus could see the system. No, not that way, this way. No, not that way, this way. No, not that way. Every single component part of your company. And that's what we rise above. And that's what we work on. The design of the company called OneCo, called MyCo, called TheCo, the company that stands alone, separate from everything else as something remarkable.